Report! A quantum implosion has occurred within the Amargosa Star. All nuclear fusion is breaking down. How is that possible? Sensor records show the observatory launched a solar probe into the sun a few moments ago. The star is going to collapse in a matter of minutes. Sir, the implosion has produced a level 12 shockwave. That'll destroy everything in this system. Transporter room to bridge. I can't locate Commander LaForge or Mr. Data, sir. Have they come back to the ship? No, sir. They are not on board. How long before the shockwave hits the observatory? Four minutes, 40 seconds. And what? Mr. Worf? Aye, sir. Riker, you have two minutes left. You hear that, Soren? I've got a level 12 shockwave coming in. We gotta get out of here! Sir, a Klingon bird of prey is decloaking off the port bow. What? Data, see if you can get to Jordy. I... I cannot, sir. Prepare for transport. Commander Riker's team is aboard, sir. Helm, warp one, engage! Captain's log, stardate 48632.4. Dr. Crusher has informed me that Data's emotion chip has been fused into his neural net and cannot be removed. However, she believes he is fit for duty, so I've asked him to join me in stellar cartography. According to our information, the ribbon is a conflux of temporal energy which travels through this galaxy every 39.1 years. It will pass through this sector in approximately 42 hours. Yes. Guinan was right. She said that Sodom was trying to get back to the ribbon. Now, if that's true, there has to be some connection with the Amagosa star. Data, give me a list of anything that was affected by the star's destruction, no matter how insignificant. Data? Sorry, sir. It will take the computer a few moments to compile the information. Data. You all right? No, sir. I am finding it difficult to concentrate. I believe I am overwhelmed with feelings of remorse and regret concerning my actions on the observatory. What do you mean? I wanted to save Jordy, but I experienced something I did not expect. According to our current information, the destruction of the Amargosa star has had the following effects in this sector. Gamma emissions have increased by 0.05%. The starship Bozeman was forced to make a course correction. Ambient magnetic fields... Wait! The Bozeman, why would it make a course correction? The destruction of the Amargosa star has altered the gravitational forces throughout this sector. As a result, any ship passing through this region would have to make a minor course correction. A minor course correction. Where's the ribbon now? This is its current position. Can you project its course? Captain. I 
I cannot continue with this investigation. I wish to be deactivated until Dr. Crusher can remove the emotion chip. Are you having some kind of malfunction? No, sir. I simply do not have the ability to control these emotions. Data, I, I have nothing but sympathy for what you are feeling. But right now, I need you to... Sir, I no longer want these emotions. Deactivating me is the only viable solution. Part of having feelings is learning to integrate them into your life, Data. Learning to live with them. them no matter Sir, what the circumstances, cannot. you will not be deactivated. You're an officer on board this ship, and I require you to perform your duty. That is an order, Commander. Yes, sir. I'll try, sir. Sometimes it takes courage to try to. And courage can be an emotion, too. Now, can you project the course of the ribbon? I believe so. Enhance grid 9A. Where was the Amagosa star? Now, you said that when the Amagosa star was destroyed, it affected the gravitational forces in this sector. Now, did the computer take that into account when it projected the course of the ribbon? No, sir. I will make the appropriate adjustments. That's what Solomon's doing. He's changing the course of the ribbon. But why? Why would, why would he try to change its path? Why doesn't he just fly into it with a ship? Our records show that every ship which has approached the ribbon has either been destroyed or severely damaged. He can't get to the ribbon. So he's trying to make the ribbon come to him. Data, does it pass near to any M-class planets? Yes, sir. There are two in the Viridian system. Well, it gets close to Viridian 3, but not close enough. Data, what would happen to the ribbon's course if Sauron destroyed the Viridian star itself? That's where he's going. It should be noted, sir, that the collapse of the Viridian star would produce a shockwave similar to the one we observed at Amagosa. Destroying all the planets in this system. Viridian 3 is uninhabited. However, Viridian 4 supports a pre-industrial humanoid society. Population? 230 million, sir. We got the bridge. Warfare, sir. Set a course for the Viridian system. Maximum warp. 